Good afternoon again. Today I'm going to show you how to install Adobe Reader. Uh, so first thing to do, go ahead and open up your web browser using Firefox and we're going to go to Adobe's website which is www.adobe.com Alrighty, once here we're going to scroll down a little bit and off to the right it says get Adobe Reader. Go ahead and click on that. Uh, the download page here. Um, before we download, we just need to make sure that we uncheck the free McAfee security scanning. You don't want that installed. Alrighty, go ahead and click on download. And since I'm in Firefox, I've got to allow this uh, the script to run. It's going to ask to install the download manager for Firefox. which requires a restart of Firefox. Okay, so now we can get started with the download of Adobe. Close the add-on page there. And we're back to the download page and the download manager for Adobe pops up and it's going to go ahead and download Adobe Reader and you can follow the progress here and follow what it's doing. Um, this download manager is also going to install the software for us after it's done downloading. Takes out a couple steps for the end user. It does take a while for this to install and, and download to your computer. Uh, so just be patient. Um, Adobe a reader is good to have because a lot of um, attachments and documents are now sent in PDF format, uh, portable document formatting. Um, it's common amongst all the different types of operating systems, Mac, Linux, Windows, um, all those are able, they all use PDFs to get their documents across and also PDF documents are uh, Good because you can't really edit them without the proper software. So, but uh, Adobe Reader allows you to read them, so you can get them, uh, view them, and use them. Once it's done downloading and installing, it's going to tell you that the installation was complete. You can go ahead and close the download manager and close your web browser. You'll also notice a couple of icons on your desktop. You have a red one that says Adobe Reader, you have one that says Acrobat.com, and the Adobe Reader Installer. I don't use them on my desktop, so I go ahead and delete them. Um, it's very rare that I actually open up Adobe Reader itself. Uh, when I open up a PDF document, Adobe Reader opens it, so the program's open, so I don't need it on my desktop to use it. If you have any questions about this install and getting Adobe Reader on your computer, feel free to email us at chip at chip-smith.com.